I decided I would make a video for one of the breedings I had done about nine years ago. Um, people today call them bull herders. I didn't really call them anything back then. But I bred a band dog that I had purchased from North Carolina with my Dutch Malinois crush, who is the father to Vivid. Now, the band dog, Epic, she was combined with Pressa, Neo, Argentine Dogo, Game Bred American Pit, and American Bulldog. Both dogs had their hips done. Both dogs were DNA tested for DM, which is canine MS, basically. And all their health results were good. Crush had the best nerves of any dog I'd ever seen. And so I decided he was the best potential sire for her litter, as I was only going to let her have one breeding and see what I would get. Really nice dog. She did a lot of stuff. Nice and stable. Was a little bit iffy in the nerves, but nothing major. Still better than a good majority of the dogs that I had seen. That's her enjoying a swim. Really beautiful dog. Absolutely adored kids. Fantastic temperament. That was her about six months or so doing a little bit of defense testing. She was a nice dog. She'd come out and she'd bite, but you'd had to you had to push her hard. She preferred just to be friends with everybody. Another picture of Crush. He was a great dog. Best nerve dog I've ever seen on in any dog in my life. That's Epic Sire. He was about 125 pounds, 28 inches tall. Excellent personal personal protection dog. Very strong defense. Not a sporty dog. Great with the kids. Really super pet. He was probably about eight years old there. That's Epic's mom. Now, she didn't do any protection work or anything like that, but she did catch a few hogs. And this is the litter at five weeks when I did a bunch of photos. And this little guy with the orange collar, the day after I took this photo, the next morning, I found that the puppies had pulled the bucket off the kennel wall, their water bucket, and he had climbed up and got his collar hooked onto the hook and spun around and ended up ch choking himself. And he was dead the next morning. It was incredibly sad. I felt really bad for the rest of the litter, wondering what they must have experienced watching it. He was a beautiful puppy. This is the female with the purple collar. She was my favorite female. I gave her to a friend and she ended up coming back when she was about eight months old as she was just too dominant. She was too much to handle. So I then gave her to a friend of mine who was a trainer and she still has the dog, never had any issues. She turned out to be a really nice dog. There's the orange collar male again. Purple collar female. Green collar male was the nicest male in the litter, was the nicest pup in the litter. He was the pick puppy by far. That was the second nicest male with the brown collar. I decided not to keep any of the puppies, even though they were nice, but I kept some of them close by so I could watch them develop. As I figured, there's no sense in reinventing the wheel. The Dutch Shepherds and Malinois I had, in my opinion, had perfect nerves. There was no issues. I saw no issues in any of the dogs produced that were related. I saw no issues in the dogs that I had produced from those lines. All of them were incredible strong nerve dogs. So I figured why take a step backwards? This litter wasn't too bad. I would say majority of the puppies had fantastic and above average nerves. But for me, it was just taking a step backwards. So I just placed them all in good pet homes. A couple went to working homes so I could watch them develop 
and they turned out to be nice dogs. A blue collar male. He was a nice pup. Here he doesn't look much like anything, but he was one of the mastiffier pups in the group. The green collar male was absolutely gorgeous. And her, she's just a little troublemaker, as you can see. Now again, these are all puppies at five weeks of age. Well, actually, they're probably a little older in these photos, as the collars are different. That's the blue collar male at six months. As you can see, he's a little more mastiffy. Big dog too. I think he was probably about 26, 27 inches tall here. However, Crush was a tall dog. I would say Crush was probably close to 30 inches tall. And that's a Dutch Shepherd. A lot of people would ask me if he was mixed with Great Dane as he was very tall. That's the runt female from the litter. I gave her to one of my mother's friends and she's six months old there. They still have her, and she's about 120 pounds. She's a big girl, super nice dog, but in no way, shape, or form is she a working dog. She doesn't have anything that you would be looking for in a working dog, but she is a great pet. That's the purple collar female before she was returned. I think she's probably about seven months old there. And this is the green collar male at 12 months, the second time he was tested. He's being tested for a civil aggression here, which is basically defense. Very nice dog, has the nerves of his father, absolutely perfect. There's nothing I could fault this dog on. He did some sport work later on in life. I'm not sure how far he went, but he was a really, really nice dog in every way. Lived with a small child and he absolutely adored the child. It wasn't that he tolerated him, he absolutely adored the little boy. And the little boy was a pretty rough, wild little guy. And this dog absolutely loved him. Really nice dog. Beautiful looking dog too. I'm thinking he probably matured about 130 pounds. Crush was a big dog also, even though he's a, a Malinois. Crush was probably about 120 pounds. He was big. He has some puppies that are bigger than him. That's him showing a nice genetic full bite. But yeah, so I had a few people ask me if I would show them some of my old band dog stuff. I have tons and tons of photos, not a whole lot of video, but I've had band dogs in my life since I was 13, 14 years old when I bought my first band dog, and that was a long time ago. And I've always gone back to them, but this is the last band dog I owned which was probably about nine years ago now. As after she had the litter, I placed her in a pet home with a good friend of mine. And then unfortunately she passed away shortly after and Epic was her dream dog. And then Epic went to a trainer, the same person who has one of her daughters. But so yeah, I just wanted to share some photos and talk about these guys a lot of people do these kind of crossings now like I said they call them bull herders you can find a lot of them online 